So the biggest question people are going to ask, first of all, this is Gold Phoenix. What's the name of your channel? Gold Phoenix. The name of your channel is Gold Phoenix. Yep. This is Gold Phoenix. And the reason why I like talking to the younger guys and stuff like that, the people uh, who've been in the game for a short period of time, because y'all are better matched for the young people. So they can kind of see it from y'all point of view instead of like an old dude on here who's like, hey man, look out, blah, blah, blah. you know, you're, they can see it from your perspective. How long have you been driving? Uh, I'm almost, almost 20 months now. Like 19 and a half months. So you came in at 21? Yes. I put my application in two weeks before my 21st birthday, actually. Uh, as soon as my last job found out, <laughs> fired me. But and they wouldn't have found out. They didn't call, but, you know, they got to <laughs> do what they got to do. <laughs> so they fired you because you put your app in to go to trucking school? Pretty much. Yeah. They already hated me. It's cool. Dang. Yeah. And are you making more money than that job? Definitely. What was the other job? Uh, all right. I can't go too much into detail <laughs> about it because, like, li literally, I'm contractually obligated not to for the next couple years. What was the, what was the industry? Uh, sales. Okay, sales. Yeah. Sales. I mean, sales, if you're real good, you can make some money, but. Yeah, I was making about 50000 At 21? 19. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, you're making way more now. Definitely. And, 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 yeah. And you decided to go into trucking. Right. And then you, uh, what was the first company you ever worked for? First company I worked for was actually Prime. Oh, so you've been to the league. You only ever been in the league? Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Dang. I came here because at the time my father was working here and he wanted to train me. So around the time we decided like, yeah, that's where I'm gonna go. He stopped taking students. Until I went through PSD and then he could do my TNT, we just knocked it out. I did about 80,000 miles with him. To make sure you were straight. Yeah, to make sure I was straight partially. I was kind of anxious to go on my own, but I think our fleet manager at the time just liked the way we was running. Right. <laughs> he didn't want me to get off the truck because he's like, yo, you gonna team with your father? Nah, I need my own. I had to talk to him about it. I'm like, yo, look, he gets another student, I get my own truck, you making more money. Yeah, you right, uh, I got you set up for classes going to Springfield uh, tomorrow. Uh, so, did your dad want you to stay on the truck? For now, yes. He wanted you to stay on his truck. No, oh wait, on his truck? No, no. He wanted me to have my own. He's always been very adamant about me having my own thing. Mm. You know what I mean? So, he's always been there to guide me, you know, help me through some of my mistakes and mishaps and, you know, that type of deal. But he doesn't want us to combine anything. He wants me to have like my own independent thing going on. So he's just here to he's here to help. Right. But not to hinder team you. Team up. You know? Right, right. Because yeah. dad needed space, bro. Yeah, he needed space, and he wants his kids to be successful. Right, right, right. But I mean, you gotta be on a good behavior when your son is in the car with you. It's like he passed the strip clubs like ah, I can't start right now because he's in there looking at me like you gonna stop. Mm -hmm. No, that's dope though. That's real dope because most fathers are like, oh, you just run with me. We a building, man. Screw yeah, all that. that. You got your own stuff. Mm -hmm. You start running by yourself. Facts. To the young boys watching, what would you tell them about getting into the trucking industry? You need to come into this with the mindset of, I'm trying to learn. See, the mistake that a lot of people, especially my age, make is that. They come into the trucking because they hear about the money you can make. And yes, you can make a heck of a lot of money. Right. But the money won't come unless you learn what it is that you're doing. You see what I'm saying? I make solid change, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. But it's because I'm constantly looking to improve. How can I run more efficiently? How can I be better about my clock? You know, what is a better route to take instead of this one? How do I avoid this type of weather? So on and so forth. The better you get, the more money comes. You need to focus on the knowledge itself and they don't want to do that a lot of them know they get too hung up on the cash and that's what screws them up did you run into a lot of craziness in your in your trucking school <laughs> i don't mess with crazy people <laughs> for sure um i met one guy who he actually just got fired yesterday wow yeah he um he's always been kind of reckless you know doing all kinds of blow if you know what I mean smoking mm. the most herbs and 
you know, going to strip clubs. He knocked a chick up out in California. Good gracious. Uh, his truck broke down out there. He spent all his money. And um, what else? <laughs> he spent all his money on drugs, partying, having threesomes and stuff like that. My God. And then asked me for $4,000. I look at him like, dude, I don't live your lifestyle. I can't help you. And he got fired because he got a load stolen, actually. Jeez. They cut him loose. I'm at, How old was he? He's like my brother's age, so about 25, 26. And what what are the threesomes come involved? Like, what? How does that guy beyond me? <laughs> he was just meeting people up there in California. They just with it, bro. The girls up there are different. And he won't worry about his career. One worrying about his career. One worrying about his kid. Nothing. And this fool got a chick knocked up. You up to baby mamas, two different states. And you ducked that. You didn't do that. Mm-hmm. I came out here on a mission. You know, I'm very stubborn when it comes to my money even though i'll, I'll spend you know, quite a bit right but that all comes from like saving money in a specific fund just to screw it off right you know what i mean like i have money to invest i have money to save and then i have money to have fun because i gotta live out here so if i save like seven grand and i want to spend that in two days i will but all your other all your other bases have been hit all taken care of all the bills paid paid ahead so so you no, your no apartment? I live with my father. Car new? Just got rid of my car. So you and it was paid off when I had it. So, so you just out here just just getting money. Pretty much. <laughs> so all that is needed now is for the right chick to to to, to catch you and all your money gone. Uh, they've tried. They've tried. They've been wanting to have my kids, man. Man, bro, no. no. <laughs> I'll say that. And you want to have my chick? They ain't, no joke. It's like I had one chick tell me she wanted six of them. I still think about. I don't talk to her no more, but I still think about that. Like, yo, she really just six. Six kids. Six kids. You know what I would have to do to support six children and you? Man, and stay bro. sane. <laughs> and you think that? Do you think you become a target once you start making this kind of trucking money? Once they know you're a trucker? Yes, absolutely. How did they change on you? Was it was a chick trying to holler at you that weren't before? They got a heck of a lot more attractive. I will say that. I've not talked to an ugly chick in years, but it's like it's like you take pretty and then you <laughs> add another layer on top of that. That's <laughs> they getting like skinnier, yeah. You know, Curvature is on point. Booty right. looking. Oh my gosh! I keep telling you, the more and more money I got, the thinner the inbox got. Why is that? Yeah, here's another thing I don't tell you. Some of the chicks that hit on me married. Married chicks hitting on me. Mm-hmm. Just had, from driving. I went home one time. There was this chick that used to live above me in the apartment, <laughs> and she knew me before I got on the road. She was always kind of into me. So back in my days when I was uh, messing around with uh, certain things I shouldn't, if you know what I mean, you know, uh, herbal essence, right. if you will. She used to come downstairs, knock at the door. She was just like, yo, I rolled this up for you. Um, here you go. And I used to look at her like, oh, I appreciate it, and just shut the door in her face. <laughs> wow. Because <laughs> I saw her husband one day, and he was built like an Abrams tank. And I'm like, I'm not about to die for you. Absolutely not. And so now that you're driving, she turned it up. Hmm. I, had, I ignore her. Got her, a couple girls I used to work with. I had another chick tell me, you know, I think we would be great in a relationship. I'm like, don't you live with your man? You got wow. a whole dude. Another chick up there in Minnesota, she talking about, hey, you come up here. Uh, you ever come through here? Yeah, all the time. She's like, well, I mean, if you ever do, you, you could come by my house. I'm like, snow bunny. Yeah, I'm like, why you live up there? Well, my boyfriend, um, yeah, he got a job in the headquarters is up here. I'm like, why are you hitting me up? Yeah. It's sketchy, man. Yeah, but, man, I think it's because she know I could come through and disappear, and he'll never know. And truckers and truckers are known to slide through like that. No, so she think, oh, well, his mind would be <laughs> most truckers is because yeah. I know. I'm telling you, most people I know would have dusted her right off. Wouldn't have had no problem doing it, bro. I thought about it, but then I realized, yeah, that costs money. I got to shut down. And, nah. Then you never know if the confrontation is gonna happen. Yeah, and, and, and if I gotta. If I run into your man, you know, I got to prevent myself from going to jail because you're not about to do nothing. Yeah, it, it's just not. It. See, the biggest thing, the reason why, the main reason I want to talk to you is because some of the guys that are coming in, 
they have no real understanding of what they should be doing. Mm-hmm. They're just like like your boy was doing. They're just doing whatever. Come, and when the more available things come to them, they take it all. Mm-hmm. So now you, they don't really understand that they're available to you more now because you are a legit target. Yeah, You're, they're not looking at you for the right reasons. They see a bag. They see somebody that could take care of them, maybe provide for a kid or whatever. And that's less work for them to do independently. So, of course, they're coming for you. But you got to have that mind state like, okay, what's the what's the deal with this? Like, why? Because I, I told a chick, I don't look no better. I probably look worse. I'm bigger. I don't look no better than I did when I won't drive it. So why why all of a sudden? It, you got to try to ask yourself that question. Like, what is going on right now that's making her be like this? And but when I've known you before this, and you won't you won't throw in the cheeks at me like that. So you you really got to open your mind to that stuff because the first thing they want to do, like like the Bible says, a fool and his money will part. Right. Somebody they're trying to separate you from your money, mm-hmm. and that's not just them. Family members start asking for money. Yup. Out of nowhere, hey uh, nephew, your auntie need a thousand. A little stuff like that. Uh, 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 parents start asking for money. Siblings, cousins yeah. that hardly even talk to you start asking you for money because they automatically think, oh, you you big money. You you driving a truck. Yep, I ignore all of them. My main family. I mean, they honestly they don't ask me for much of anything. I think the last crazy thing, crazy that any of my siblings asked for. Um, my sister wanted to go through driving school. And that was like $500. So I was like, whatever, I'll pay for that. But for the most part, they don't ask me for nothing. It's these regular civilians that be asking people who, you know, I was friends with, friends I grew up with and stuff like that, just out the woodworks, magically have problems. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't pay my rent, man. Can you spot me $700? You know, I, I like my keys in the car, man. You got, you got 120 Stupid stuff like that. Yo, I'll pay you back. No, you won't. And <laughs> something I've learned is I don't ever give anyone money that I can't, that I actually need back. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's if like I can it's a gift. to lose it, you go to 300. Yeah, but yeah, I don't yeah. need to spend, you keep the whole nine because, but just understand that if you ask me again, I'm going to say no. Exactly. Because, you, you know, you, my thing is I'm not going to ask you for the money back, but if you give it back to me, shows what where we at. Like, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna go through that that whole rigmarole of looking you, searching you, because because understand the fastest way to make a person stop calling you is lend money. Exactly. You lend somebody money, you won't hear from them for two years. Mm-hmm. Until they need something else. Until they need something else, They're like man, I just been so busy, I ain't man to catch up with you. No, you didn't want me to ask for my money back. Mm-hmm. So that, that's some of the warnings that the young guys got to really, really understand that there's a lot that comes with once you start making this kind of money. And, and it isn't that you change is that when you start making a certain amount of money everyone around you gets to changing on you yeah when now, when they actually know see back when i was in sales nobody knew what i was up to they just saw that if i wanted something the card don't decline and you know i'm not really stressed out because i work for companies like uh, toyota mm-hmm. those one of them i work for uh at&t at one point they think, okay, you know, you're just getting a regular hourly situation. No, not at all. So it was much more low key for me, but now people know I'm on the road. It's like left and right, everybody needs something. And it's like, and they, and they talk like you're obligated to do it. Obligated? Obligated. Like, yo, I mean, if you really care, I don't care. That's the thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. You tell them you don't care? Straight up. There's a girl. I ain't gonna show you them messages. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> There's a girl that um that hits me up all the time that I ignore most of the time. She'll complain about her day or her week or something. Like, I gotta work four days this week and all this stuff. And I'll literally hit her back and be like, you know, I don't care how your day is, right? Dang, bro. She can't get enough of it. And I think it's because she know what I got. If I was broke, then never tolerated. Never in life. So you say you getting away with more stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't care about your day. <laughs> that is straight like harsh, that. bro. I don't care about your day. I don't care how your day went. Like, you know, you're talking to somebody that works seven days a week, right? I don't need the stuff you complaining about is trivial. I'm bugging. Right. Like that's for you got some juice? They juice? Yeah. Oh, now do you do I give you a selection. All I do is all I do is three percent now. I don't That's all I got. Okay, cool, cool. Some cats they had twelve and six. 
That right, stuff kills. Right. This is cut. And I will cut it back in a better position. Oh, uh, what you need. Good gracious, man. Mm -hmm. I go to a vape shop maybe twice a year. Get in there. I go with the. I don't know what's open or not. What is All of that's closed. Oh, oh, nice. this one. Melons. Melons usually do good. I'm a melon cat person. Melon and sure. cereal. Ooh, there we go. I like custards and certain menthol flavors. Let's see if I can get that. Y'all can't see that for real, can y'all? No, I won't let you see it. Yeah, I bought all that in London. London? Ohio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> London? God, good gracious, bro. What road did you take to get there? <laughs> I took a ferry. Nothing too crazy. Fair Oh, hold on, people. We'll be right back. First of all, tell the name of your channel. Uh, the channel name is Gold Phoenix. Two words: P H O E N I X. And don't misspell it. What is the? Uh, what are you doing with your channel? What is like? What? What do they expect from coming to your channel? Uh, most of the time, I just vlog about certain trips I'm taking. Uh, I've been doing a lot of things I've never done before, like going certain places I've never done before. So I'm capturing that. Sometimes I'm talking about my day, certain experiences I'm having. Other days, I might post a driving video just talking about a topic that comes to mind. Mm. Actually, just posted one last night. So are you uh, doing the paycheck videos where you tell them how much you're making and all that? Y'all don't need all that. Mm. I'm paid. That's it. That's all you need to know. <laughs> that's all you need to know. All right, we're going to get into some more uh, messy stuff right after this. Make sure you go to Gold Phoenix channel immediately and how do i get an interview with utb you gotta be a patreon member i don't interview with people that ain't patreon members he's i think well you on six months ain't you something like that six months patreon member he's around i see him i, I I've, I've been able to clock his personality to know if it's a decent thing to meet up and do a video or even be interested in what he has to say so if you're not on the patreon you're just flat out not in the running period that's just how that goes bro and we ain't trying to be ganged and clicked up but these days you kind of have to be so this is one of those situations for sure make sure you go follow the patreon immediately make sure you follow gold phoenix immediately we got more videos to do he don't believe i can get like five six videos out of him anymore. <laughs> we about to do but this, he, he about to find out real quick. <laughs>